looking five years into the future, I think what we're doing here and announcing here today will transform how society functions. With Peak, we've been working on the machine economy for many, many years. And Peak is ultimately a computer that is powering the machine economy. And robots need to be able to be connected to that computer, get their universal identity on that computer, and communicate with all applications that run on that computer as well. So the Peak Robotics SDK is what brings robots alive in the machine economy. I believe this is a milestone because of three reasons. Number one, we have actually designed it in a way that cryptographic functions are built on the runtime upgrade. On the runtime level, they are by design inculcated into the SDK. Number two, we have worked a lot on the latency. If you work with our SDK, there is very minimal or no latency between the network and the machine data flows. And number three, it's very composable and configurable. It's not just one robot or one Raspberry Pi, it's configurable in a way that it can be used with any machine that is there in the market. When we started designing Peak, we designed it in a way that it's not just yet another blockchain. It's a blockchain that has universal machine functions as part of the blockchain protocol itself. And those are the standards that we have packaged in the SDK so that any robot installing the SDK comes right away with the native standards that are baked into the peak blockchain protocol itself. These are, for example, universal identity for machines or universal machine time. And this is really, really crucial because based on those standards, all machines and devices can communicate with each other, transact with each other. And the robotics SDK is basically what gives all of those packaged nicely to all the robots. When we were doing this thing, right, we, we come up with the different models, how to actually package it, how to go with it. Many people right now are not that deep, tech deep into the blockchain or to the robotics. So we actually come up with a Python based SDK where honestly, you just have to write one command. You have to SSH into the human right. You have to write one command and press enter. It will download all the libraries, all the dependencies that are needed to make a connection between the humanoid and the blockchain network. And once it's installed, it is seamlessly talking with the blockchain network. Either it is transmitting data or having cryptographic IDs or having role-based exit control inside it. You can really think of it as a machine getting their passport or identity, right? All of us have a national ID or a passport and the machine identity, for example, is exactly that. You can also think of it as getting a bank account. The machine is getting basically a bank account in order to pay and get paid. And this bank account is also coupled to its identity. Furthermore, all of us have keys. When we have a home, we have a car, right? We have a key to access different things. This universal machine function package also allows machines to access certain things, allows people to access those machines and really defines what we call authorization. So is that machine authorized to do something? Is a person authorized to do something with that machine? And yeah, if we put it in simple terms, it's really a key, a bank account and a passport for a machine. With this SDK, we are releasing a bunch of functions. It has got DID, it has got role-based access control, it has got storage, it has got all the dependencies of the communication that are required to be there for talking of machine to the blockchain network. Just take an example, right? Like if you are me and talk on different languages, right? So we need a common language to talk and that's English. That's sort of a middleware that we have. So, so developer, if you are say a C++ developer and there is a package that you need to include to talk to a network and that is on Rust, you don't need to go and learn Rust for that. Peak SDK will do it for you. We need a system so that robots can identify and function across all kinds of different platforms. For example, let's say we take a smart city and we have a robot running around and collecting data. If it's just registered on this one smart city system, it's fairly limited and only that system can get its data. But with 
the robotics SDK from Peak, that robot can be registered on all kinds of systems and the data can be shared, the data can be verified and it has an identity which just gives it an existence across all kinds of systems and platforms. By doing so, it really gets prepared to what's to come in the next coming years. And we all see how fast AI and robotics is advancing. It, it doesn't take long until we have fully autonomous robots running around our cities, running around our homes. And we need to be able to trust those machines. We need to be able to verify what happens with that data. And of course, ideally, they are as monetary beneficial for all of us as possible. When we started from Raspberry Pi, we are actually not looking at one manufacturer or one machine. We are actually looking at a very broad sense. And that's why we have been working on the fundamentals. We have packaged the SDK in a way that every machine manufacturer, every robotics company can use it. It's not platform dependent. It's independent of the platform. Anyone having a humanoid or anything else can use it and they can leverage the functionalities of the blockchain network that are there without getting into the details of them. That's why it's a new standard, a new communication standard that we are providing between machine manufacturers and the decentralized networks. Peak being an open infrastructure where anyone can participate by connecting devices and machines, providing goods and services, we create that open democratized layer. By creating the Peak Robotics SDK, we create an easy way for robots to become active on that open layer. And the beauty is also, we cannot just connect those devices, we can also earn from them. People are able to co-own robots, robots that are generating revenue. And as more and more people lose their jobs because robots and AI take those over, we create an open system where the future economic activity will be happening and everyone has access to it. Everyone can participate, contribute, and own a share of that economy. And that's the beauty about the SDK. Once it is installed, there's nothing standing in the way of the robot walking outside in the world and becoming a full-blown economic agent.